thanks for doing this with us. I guess yesterday was a big day for everyone in Nevada, but especially you. What do you got going on? Well, we're excited. You know, uh, we've always been Raiders fans. Uh, the Raiders, you know, of course, they all patronize the Bunny Ranch, or at least a lot of them. In fact, Daryl Russell uh, got himself in trouble up here in Nevada once, and uh, he was a friend. So anyway, we're excited. You know, we're going to open up one of my places. I got a new place I'm going to open up in southern Nevada because of this. And uh, it's uh, the first theme-based, sports theme-based brothel in the world. And what we're envisioning is is girls in Raiders cheerleaders outfits and sports memorabilia all over the walls because I've got a lot of Raiders memorabilia, trust me. And, um, and just a sports environment, you know, with, with some of the old replays and special moments. And, uh, and it's just a theme-based based brothel about sports, just like I did my Ellie and Cat House, which is on the, on the test site, Missile Range, right, right at the borderline. All right. Is this about being a fan or is it about business or both? Oh, it's both. We're all fans. The girls are fans. We're Raiders fans. I mean, the the girls are always at the games, and uh, and we follow the Raiders, and, and the the girls are big fans, and and it's just exciting for us, and it's business too. You know, it's it's going to be a theme based bothrel uh, about sports, and that's going to be fun. It's not only going to be the the, the Raiders, but that will be a, a big part of it. We might as well do other sports also. Okay. Um... Have you, I know you just kind of announced it, but are you anticipating or have you already had any blowback from maybe the NFL or, or someone like that who don't want the players going up to you? Boy, I, that wouldn't that be something? The NFL didn't want people having sex? Come on, they, the, the, the football players are known for that. Of course, and at least look at, they don't have to bring their hookers from Oakland. Oakland and Las Vegas has got the worst illegal hooker problem in America, and now they got a legal alternative for the fans and and the guys to go to. You know, we've already said we're going to get 50% off to anybody that works for the Raiders organization. And if they make the Super Bowl, they don't even have to win. They make the Super Bowl, everybody, everybody parties for free in the Raiders organization. Wow. Well, that's pretty great. I would I should yeah. maybe get a job with the Raiders. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I, so I just to get some logistics out there, it's going to be in Crystal, right? Crystal, just north of Perunk. I already have one brothel there, That's which was made famous by Lamar Odom, yeah. uh, the Love Ranch. And it's uh, right right by the Love Ranch. And it's going to be the, the theme-based brothel. And we've been working on it for two years. And we just really hadn't come up with the concept yet. But the building's all complete. And we're ready to go. Now we got the concept, sports-based. When did you get the idea for a sports-themed and Raiders-specific? Did it take, like, in the last couple weeks? Or have you been planning this out for a while? Well, as, as soon as, you know, as soon as the, it got serious and the legislature met with special session and I was up here with Michelle Fiore and John Moore and Chuck Muth and people like that, then I thought, you know what, we, we got to take this serious and uh, this, this is what we need to do. Okay. Do you, uh, have you had any criticism, you know, like people saying you're trying to capitalize off of uh, this great thing for Nevada and you're like sullying it in some way? Anyone, any talk like that? Absolutely not. And yes, we are trying to capitalize on it. That's what Nevada's about. Uh, it's, a, it's about media. It's about fun. It's about entertainment. And I can't think of anything better than a sports-related brothel, wings, popcorn, hot dogs, hanging out, drinking beer with a bunch of really fun girls. Do you, do you at all worry that, you know, what if some of the, the players, they're there on Saturday night before the game and they don't play so well the next day? Oh, well, we better, we better tell them to come on Sunday, Sam. Yeah, <laughs> after win, <laughs> well, right? Well, yeah, after, after the win. Uh, but it, it's, it's going to be fun. And, and, of course, the Raiders fans are, are Bunny Ranch fans also. You know, I'm, I'm very close to Oakland and uh, my northern Nevada operation. So most of those fans already know me and, and, uh, from being around the Bay Area a lot. So they'll come out and support us. And, you know, we just make it fun. That's, that's all we do. It's not just sex and it's an adventure and I make it fun. And what's the name of the place? Well, we're coming up with that. You know, the, the guys want to call it the Pirates Booty, uh, the Pirates uh, Booty Brothel, but we'll see. We're, we're working on names now. We're going to have a, a contest uh, with all our customer base. We're going to do a, we have a newsletter that goes out to half a million people. We're going to ask everybody to get their ideas. You don't like Pirates Booty? Because when I brought that up in our meeting, that got a big laugh. I think it's great. 
I think it's great. Of course, we're going to try to improve on it uh, the best we can. But Pirates Booty Brothel, uh, it's it's a great name. It's a good start, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it really is. Um, I'm trying to think. If, am I forgetting to ask you anything? Anything else you want to say? I don't think so. I think you, you hit, you know, the downside of it. Is is there anybody, any haters out there? Um, uh, have, have, you, you know, you might ask if the Raiders have reached out to us or anything. And, uh, um, have they? I'm trying to think what else. Have the Raiders reached out? The Raiders have not reached out to us as yet, but we'd love to talk to them about it. And uh, maybe they can help. Maybe they maybe they want to be part owners. Maybe we'll be partners. And I'll be at, I'll be at their games in a private box, and and they'll be uh, at the Pirates Booty Brothel theme sports theme brothel hanging out with me. <laughs> uh, the last thing before I let you go, you said at the beginning I, I forget the guy's name that you're naming the VIP lounge after. You said Daryl Russell. Daryl Russell. You said he uh, he got in a little bit of trouble with you once. Any stories that you care to share over the years from some of these high well, profile athletes? I, I, I wish. I mean, you, the, the obvious one is Lamar Odom. And, yeah. you know, typically we don't talk about our clients unless something crazy happens. Well, Daryl Russell got arrested in Carson City, Nevada for drunk driving. And he was out on a, on a substance suspension. And um, so we, we did everything we could to support him. And as soon as he got out of jail, he came back to the Bunny Ranch where he belonged. Do you, uh, you think you would get more business from the visiting players who only get to Las Vegas once a year, maybe, as opposed to the Raiders who are going to be here all the time? Yeah, well, I, I think the visiting teams it's it's uh will come out there a lot, and their fans from from all all over the country, uh, they're they're gonna come visit our place. Uh, if, if if nothing else, you know, take some pictures, hang out, get some get some uh, memorabilia, shot glass from the red light district. You know, Nevada's known for for gaming and girls and uh, and and fun. 